Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Aerosport Bushcat, more than meets the eye. Submerged, Icon A5 pilot has gear down water landing. Aero News Network to live stream AEA 2022. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Aerosport Bushcat, more than meets the eye. ANN's Jim Campbell finally got out of the office this past weekend to visit DeLand's Aerosport operation and check out current versions of the Aerosport Bushcat, as well as TL North America's Stream Tandem and Sting side-by-side two-seater. While we'll have some more info on the TL offerings in the next few days, the little Bushcat, with pricing well below $100,000, offered some surprises. The so-called tube and rag two-seater is a really rugged aircraft that pouches 800 to 1000 FPM climb rate at near gross and nearly 90 degrees. Incredibly roomy, the aircraft's cabin offers a single shared center stick and two individual and retractable throttle arms, as well as swing-up doors that can remain open in flight. The bird is rock solid in terms of its overall stability and control, especially in pitch. Slow flight offers no surprises and does about 90 miles an hour in cruise with a Rotax 912 ULS. It uses 200 to 300 feet for takeoff and landing with a very robust gear that can take the occasional oops with a plong. The cost effectiveness of owning and operating this kind of machine cannot be overemphasized and the fit and finish we noted on several examples was more than laudable. Most important, the bird was just plain fun. More info to come. After the break, Dasso takes photo op through Death Valley. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Dassault takes photo op through Death Valley. Dassault has released their newest promotion for the Falcon 8X Trijet showing the preparation and flight through an infamous photo location in Death Valley, California. The production is an uncommon example of aircraft advertising done right, showing snippets of the photogenic Falcon cruising through Rainbow Canyon. The Star Wars Canyon is a frequent haunt for photographers enjoying the rare opportunity to shoot aircraft sprinting below them as they watch from atop the 1,000-foot high rim. Ottawa releases draft of luxury tax proposal. Last year, Canada included a proposal for a new tax on the sale of luxury autos and aircraft with a retail price over $100,000 and new watercraft over $250,000. The Canadian Owners and Pilots Association has spoken at length on the issue, attempting to explain to legislators the fact that $100,000 or $80,000 USD doesn't quite buy an equivalent amount of luxury. Ottawa has released the draft legislation, stating they will take public input into consideration. Delta could buy 737 MAX 10. Rumors abound that Delta Airlines is courting Boeing for an order of up to 100 of its 737 MAX 10s, ahead of the model's approval from the FAA. If true, the deal would be a blow to Boeing's arch-rival as the manufacturer pulls yet another of its favorite customers further under its wings. Delta has not placed an order from Boeing in some time. The new MAX 10 would be a definitive improvement over the airline's legacy 737-900ERs, boasting a passenger capacity of over 200. Vandehey still to return from ISS on Soyuz. 
A trio of Russian cosmonauts launched on their way to the International Space Station. The space station has continued operating as usual, with the three cosmonauts inbound to rotate in and replace some of the seven crew members currently ending their term aboard the station. The returning trio will be two Russians and one American, astronaut Mark Vandehey. They are expected to begin their journey Earthbound on March 30th using a Soyuz, and so far, NASA has stated they have no intentions to shake up arrangements so far. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Submerged, Icon A5 pilot has gear down water landing. Okay, we've heard this story a lot. An Icon A5 turned submarine again when it crashed into Texas's Lake LBJ with no injuries reported. The small aircraft was damaged, and local fire chief Tim Campbell said that, quote, a gentleman from the Shirley Williams Airport in Kingsland, where he keeps his plane, was landing on Lake LBJ, end quote, clarifying that the aircraft was not forced on the water, but intended to land on it. When the aircraft gear made contact with the water, they caught and pulled the nose sharply downward, tucking down and breaking the windshield and blasting the pilot with water. The bystander managed to get the pilot out and rope the aircraft to drag it ashore before it sank. Not long after, first responders arrived on scene and found surprisingly little to do. Campbell said the aircraft was taken away aboard a flatbed and the case details have been handed to the Texas Department of Public Safety. The landing gear issue will be of particular interest to the FAA, like any other gear up landing would be. But how common such events appear to be in the Icon A5 should inform future developments in Icon products or seaplanes as a whole. After these messages, Aero News Network to live stream AEA 2022. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. Aero News Network to live stream AEA 2022. The Aircraft Electronics Association's new product session is on track for the 65th annual AEA International Convention and Trade Show, kicking off on March 28th and continuing nearly a decade and a half of ANN service to the avionics community with upscale live web programming. The program continues the aviation industry's longest running annual live web programming series. The new product introduction sessions will be home to a series of new product announcements from a long slate of businesses and industry names. The session will include dozens of companies from Avidyne to Viavi Solutions with Aero News live streaming the opening session. The avionics industry is moving fast with dozens of new technologies, protocols, and industry changes in the pipeline at any given time. Having a finger on the pulse of a recovering economy is important for owners and operators, whether excitedly planning out their next suite of upgrades or curious about the latest and greatest the AEA has to offer. Two days of follow-up interviews and industry insights will follow the opening day's activities, starting at 1300 CDT on Tuesday and 1200 CDT on Wednesday. Remember to visit us at airborne-live.net. And that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.